everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all we about done with 2022 we're moving on into 2023 I hope it's a lot of great things that's gonna be happening in 2023 but before we just forget on about 20, 2022, I wanted to do my top favorite fragrance mist of the year. I can't remember if I did this last year. I'm going to have to check and see. But I felt like Bath & Body Works, as much as I've been telling my truth about Bath & Body Works, keeping it real, they did their thing and they came out with a lot of good fragrance mist. I let me get y'all's opinion before I start the video. I was wanting to do a top 22 fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret, and I couldn't remember none of them stood out for me. They just all kind of meshed together. I would really have to go through my collection go through videos and see what actually came out you know for 2022 bath and body works i just could sit and think and was like oh yeah i remember this i remember that now some i went back through my collection because it's summer it's spring but a lot of these i just instantly remembered them so they did their thing bath and body works did their thing this year okay and another thing i wanted to mention i for the no, I did it, even though for the most part, because I wanted to make sure I did. I did not have in my top 22 any fragrance mists that have been repackaged or you know brought back again. These are all new as far as I know, and as far as my time of shopping with Bath and Body Works, these are new. I didn't want to have, you know, fragrances that were repackaged. Now, I have two honorable mentions that I'm going to show at the end that are repackages that came out this year that I felt like I just wanted to mention them because, you know, I love them. But I wanted to my core top 22 cents. I didn't want any repackages in my, my list because I wanted fragrances that were just for this year. And just from that alone, and there were some left over that were good, but just didn't make the cut. Like I said, Bath & Bowers did their thing. Okay, I'm not gonna even try to put these in order. I might try to do the top five, but I, I, I can't do it in order. That messes me up. So I'm just gonna start grabbing. So I'm gonna start with the fragrances that came out for spring, summer of 2022. And then we're gonna work our way to fall, for this year and then winter so of course you know i'm going to try to start with spring i can't remember exactly which ones came out at exactly what time but i'm thinking these right here were spring so butterfly we all know butterfly spread your wings and prepare to fly okay <laughs> Y'all, I'm not going to share notes on these because I have talked about every single one of these fragrances, so we're not going to do notes. But Butterfly is just pretty, powdery, girly, feminine, spring-like, delicious, delightfulness. Butterfly. So pretty and girly. Love it. Another one that at first when it came out, I was like, I don't get the hype. And then I had to check myself, okay? And that is Buttercups and Berry Bellini. This is the softest, prettiest strawberry scent. I tell you what, Bath and Body Works and somewhat Vicky have been killing it with the strawberry raspberry scents. They have been spectacular. And this is another good one, Buttercups and Berry Bellini. Now, for the semi-annual sale that's going on right now at Bath & Body Works, I have seen the lotion of this. So, sometimes when there's a lotion, it you, uh, some stores might have a mist or something. So, you might want to keep your eyes out. I wish they had the shower gel because I would love the shower gel in that because I don't have it. But, oh well. 
Next it came out, this is Happy Easter Tutti Fruity Candy. This is another one, at first I was like, whatever. It's just okay. This doesn't smell um, like candy. And then I got to wearing this and playing with it, y'all. This smells like a candy version of Champagne Toast. That's what it smells like to me. It's good. It's not candy in a juvenile way to me. To me, it's, it's candy and citrusy and bubbly in just a fun, casual way that I like. So Tutti Frutti Candy hit for me. Another one that came out this uh, past spring, Peach Prosecco Macaron. I was very skeptical about this because it's not many peach fragrances I like. But this is a creamy, peachy, kind of like sherbet smell to me. That's good. It's a peach I can deal with. It's a peach I like. It's another, it's another peach I like from Bath and Body Works. I think it's winter peach something. I can't remember. But this, this one is a good one too. If you don't like that sour peach smell, this is a good one. Peach Prosecco Macaron. Okay, uh, that's all I can remember exactly for spring. Oh, except this one. I think this came out during the spring. This is fresh coconut and cotton. Yo, this is my backup, but oh, this was one. I was like, oh, I don't get it. Oh, I, don't <laughs> I was. I was just like, it's okay. And then I started, I was watching Chloe Yasmin and she was like using this as like a fragrance booster, just adding it with all her, whatever she was wearing and just spraying her clothes. And I was like, I'm gonna try that. Y'all, <sighs> to spray this on your clothes is magical. But I started loving it so much just by doing that. I started just wearing it on its own, pairing it with different like soft powdery scents, soft girly fresh scents. This is so good. This is so good, okay? Who is white t-shirt? Whatever. This was to me the hit of that collection. Well, this and another one. Because even though it's not in the same packaging, they came out at the same time. And you'll see, I'm going to talk about that one next. This is so good. If you just want to smell clean, like clean cotton after you have used your, your scented uh, beads, your fabric softener, your matching dryer sheet, all that. And just add just some femininity to it. I love this. Fresh coconut and cotton. So good. The other one, Fresh Getaway. Y'all, you talking about smelling like you on your yacht with your white outfit on and your little sailor's cap caught to the side, some gold ear your earrings and some designer sunglasses and you just lean against your yacht, living your best life, smelling bougie. This is what this is. Ooh, bougie and fresh. Oh, yes, fresh get away, honey. That is a great one also. Another one that's kind of in the line of fresh coconut and cotton. This is Cloud Nine. This is your soft... Yeah, it's your soft kind of warm, fresh scent that you just smell clean. Like you don't smell perfumey. You just smell like you took a good shower and you, you're just everything about you is clean and smelling good. That's what this gives you cloud nine. All right, so now we're gonna get into some summer ones, okay. This is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Last summer, Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret came out with Pineapple scents. And this is the one, because I remember Pineapple Cold from Victoria's Secret. And I was like, Ugh. I wasn't feeling that one. This, let me spray it again. I thought I had sprayed all these tops in preparation for this video. I guess I did not. Oh, this is just sweet 
pineapple punch i'm on the beach i'm walking around with a coconut drink with some no i'm you know those drinks you can get the coconut cup and i got pineapples all around it and i'm just sipping you know in hawaii living my best life too oh yeah yes <laughs> this is so good and fun pink pineapple sunrise another one i was like i don't know these next two, I was like, I don't know, you know, but then I fell in love. This is Copper Coconut Sands. The, perf the perfume that made me, what is it called? Is Juliet Has a Gun, Beach Vibe, no, Vanilla Vibes. That's what this reminds me of. It's warm, it's sandy, it's sweet, it's vanilla. You know how you smell, <sighs> oh, think of a campaign. And you have the beautiful models and they're a little sweaty they look glistening and have sand sticking to their skin but they still look hot as fire that's what this is that is what this is in a bottle that is how you smell honey this is so good oh so good copper coconut sands hot girl that's what that is another one that jasmine buller finally convinced me girl get this and it's on sale at the semi-annual sale right now at Bath & Body Works. This is Summer Melody. This is one, I have to wear this one on my skin to appreciate it. Because just smelling it from the top, it's just okay. On my skin, this turns into a melon vanilla, vanilla candy. I love this. It's very pretty. It's very feminine. It's very airy. I like it. It's candy. You know, it's, you just smell good and playful in the summer. And usually in the summer, I'm going for a more casual vibe, period. So this is a good one, Summer Melody. Okay, these last three from the summertime, oh, they would love a first sniff. This is Pink Watermelon Blast. I thought I love pink watermelon, which I do. And I, okay, when this came out last summer, I was like, okay, they trying to fool somebody. Cause y'all know Bath and Body Works, huh? they be trying to get over on people. AKA Mocha Vanilla Martini. You know, they be renaming a bunch of stuff, you know, tricking folks and thinking it's something new when it's not. And I thought that's what they were doing with this. I said, this ain't gonna be nothing but some pink watermelon. Y'all, this, this is pink watermelon's juicier, sweeter sister. Like pink watermelon was already sweet and candy-like. This is so juicy. <laughs> it is so juicy, so fun, so bright for summer. If you were into watermelon, you were loving this too. We all like went crazy over Pink Watermelon Blast. So good. So good. Enough, these last two, that's from the summer. This was from the semi-annual sale, the summer semi-annual sale. This is These were the ones people were losing their minds over the collection. I think it was called the Fun Fair Collection. Y'all had to know it was coming. Bubblegum Pop. Smells like bubblegum. But it, it to me, like when I wear it on my skin, it still smells like bubblegum, but it doesn't just smell like straight up chewing bubblegum. It's something that comes out that makes it prettier on my skin and just not straight up bubblegum. But if you want a pretty girly, fruity, bubblegummy scent, this was it. People were getting massive amounts of backups. I mean, I got my three um, because who knows if they're ever going to bring this back. This is so good. If you like the Machino Toy 2, if you like um, Velvet Vanilla from Monsera, if you like those type of perfumes, Bubblegum pop. That that's that's what it was, y'all. So good. Of course, this is gonna be in here too. Orange vanilla twist, creamsicle, orange creamsicle. 
this is just taking me back to the fun and the sun times okay yes this is so good it was so good that collection was a hit like i said bath and body works they did their thing this year when i was going through and i was like there's so many i am loving so many that still i really really like that are not making the list but were still so 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 good props like i said i be telling bath and body works what i think y'all in my videos about certain things but i i give props when props are due to and they did the doggone thing this year they did it with their fragrance fragrances and everything because i was just like this is some good stuff okay now we're moving into the fall this was another one I was like, I don't know, because I was like, I got so much stuff. I'm tired of getting all this stuff. Is it worth it? And then I was like, girl, you better hurry and get that before it's gone. And that is Autumn Drive. Like I said, they've been doing the raspberry, the raspberry and strawberry scents. They've been killing it. This is a smooth raspberry, juicy with a hint of vanilla. It's so good. So good autumn drive and this you may can find at the semi-annual sale if they have any in your store because i saw like lotions and shower gels of this so you may still be able to find this one pink suede i saw body creams only in this and i think i saw some lotions at another store this is in that fresh coconut and cotton kind of very pretty very fresh very clean another one where you don't smell perfumey you just smell good and soft and pretty pink suede love it i'll tell you these are some good ones enchanted candy potion y'all just it just smells like pretty pixie candy dust it smells so good so sugary i love this i love it i don't i wish i would have gotten i know i have two backups of the mist but i don't think i, I just have one full set i wish i could have i can't remember if this came out in a lotion because i don't want two body creams but if i could find a lotion of this i would and even another shower gel because i love this it's so pretty okay so i'm not doing top five i can't i'm just gonna go with the flow so next we're gonna talk about Midnight Amber Glow. This was another one. People were loving it. Some people were hating it. I love it. To me, this is a soft coffee vanilla amber scent. Very sexy, very sensual. Love this Midnight Amber Glow. And that's on sale too right now. It's in my annual sale. Oh, and I did find another one of these that's in my annual sale for 75% off. So keep a lookout, y'all. Keep a lookout okay y'all know i've already eaten the humble pie i've already eaten the crow of this fragrance mess wrapped in vanilla okay it's good it smells better on my body than smelling from the top it's the perfect layering vanilla if you just want to smell warm and vanilla <laughs> this is good if you want to feel wrapped in vanilla this is good if you're not feeling warm vanilla sugar then I would suggest wrapped in vanilla. Now, I was talking about this during my semi-annual sale haul from Bath & Body Works. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it above. Check it out. Now, I've stocked up. I'm good. But I forgot to tell y'all in that video, I didn't find wrapped in vanilla, but at one store. One. I went to six. And I only found it in one store. Okay, so if you see rap vanilla and you love it, or you're even if even if you're on the fence like I was, get you one at least because it's $3.95. So you won't be, you know, thinking, man, I wish I would have had. Man, just go ahead and get it if you find it because 
it's slim pickings for this and the, this next fragrance I'm gonna talk about. Very slim pickings, okay? And this is worth it. I was wrong. <laughs> it's good, good, okay? All right, this is one was love at first sniff for me and people were kind of a little bit hating on it. And then just like me with Wrapped in Vanilla, they've turned around and they've fallen in love with it. And that is Strawberry Snow Flakes, honey. Oh, so good. So good. This is the other one. I'm saying it's hard to find this uh, during the semi-annual sale. I found pieces at... I want to say maybe half the stores. So three stores had pieces. No store had the full set. Like I think two stores had shower gel and body cream. I never found a store with a, the body lotion. I only found one store, one store with the fragrance mist, one. This smells like a mixture of strawberry pound cake and boardwalk taffy and this is perfection love it love it love it okay this next one you can still pretty much find this at different stores this is blush cardigan on sale right now for um sass also this is just feminine pretty fruity raspberry powderiness just perfection it is so good. This might be my base scent for my fragrance of the day for the semi annual sale at Victoria's Secret. This just smells so pretty. It is just pretty. Blush cardigan. Okay, and my last one of the top 22 for 2022 is winter cherry blossom y'all they oh do i need a backup <laughs> i decided not to get a backup of this because this is on sale for 3.95 for sass right now and i was like shawty don't get a backup because you know you wore japanese cherry blossom out and this is comparable to japanese cherry blossom but different enough for me to enjoy it and even if you don't like Japanese Cherry Blossom, like I've said, still check it out. It, it's just, it's, it's a, it's fruitier. It's younger. It's like a fresher take. And I might need to get it back up. Oh, it's so good. Y'all, think I need a backup. It's good because I have never seen this one before. I think somebody said in my comment section that they had, but I had never seen this one before. And I've been shopping at Bath & Body Works over 10 years. So I might get one back up, y'all. Oh, I don't know, but it's good. It is good. Now for my honorable mentions, okay? I had to put this in here. This is Vanilla Confetti Sparkle, okay? As what I will always remember, I have two memories connected <laughs> to this scent. First one is 2020. And I'm in the store before everything closed down. And I'm looking at this and it's original, beautiful packaging. This package is okay. That, the first packaging, the chalkboard packaging was stunning. And I just remember smelling lemon. And I was like, why is it smell like lemon? Um, I was like, I just don't want, I don't want, I don't want to smell like lemon cake or was it coconut? It was something in there I was smelling that I wasn't loving. It was just okay, but I, I passed on it that day. You know, we were all at home, and I'm watching all these beauty videos, these fragrance videos, all these hygiene videos, and that's when I said, I'm just going to start my channel. I've been doing this all my life. I'm going to start my channel, too, and see where it takes me, since I'm, you know, at the house. <laughs> and I always regret it 
not getting it. I can't remember for that semi-annual sale online during when everything was closed down. It's a blur. I can't remember if I ordered anything online. I really can't. So I missed out on it. Fast forward to winter fast uh, for 2020. We saw a plethora of confetti cake pop lotions and body creams. And I could swear on a stack of Bibles, I saw the mist online for a hot second and I got excited thinking the mist is going to be in store. Uh, no. That, everybody was just upset, and me included, because I'm like, how you going to bring back all this doggone lotion and cream? No shower gel, no, the mist. I was mad about the mist. I was like, where is the mist? So, all that to say, I had to put this in here, because I have been wanting vanilla, uh, confetti cake pop, aka vanilla confetti sparkle, for two years before they brought it back. So I'm, I just had to, even though it's not new for 2022, it's a repackage, I had to mention it. On me, it when I spray it on my skin, it becomes just a delicious vanilla cake scent that I really enjoy. I got me my three backups, so I'm good. If I ever saw that chalkboard package, and I would get one more though, because I love it. Okay, another fragrance that they brought back in 2022 was Beach Nights. Now, this is not the packaging that they brought back because I haven't sprayed those bottles because I'm going to use this. Is, I'm not spraying one of those till I've used this one. This is a marshmallowy, toasty, chocolate, woody scent. And I, I know some people think this is the perfect summer scent. And you can wear it in the summer. I have always put this in the category for me of fall, winter, when I tend to wear this. Now, I, I just don't know why. I've never worn it in the summer. <laughs> I, just have, I think I did try it one time at night in the summer. But during the day where I live... I'm so hot. I don't like smelling sweet in, in when I'm burning up this sweat. I just don't. So this would be like a nighttime thing for me if I was feeling like wearing this. But for me, it's more of fall winter season when I tend to pull out beach nights and I love it. And this is this was my only time I had purchased the mist. I had purchased the shower gel and body cream and body lotion multiple times because I use it to layer, but I never purchased the mist. So I purchased the mist at one semi-annual sale. must have been 2019. And then they stopped bringing it back. You never saw it again. It was either 2018 or 2019 when I purchased this one. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is the first time I bought the mist and now they're not having it anymore. So I was just trying to not use too much of it, but it's a good one, y'all. I know some people were like, it doesn't smell the same. It's not as good. Well, I had this one and I compared it in whatever haul video I did and they smell the same to me, the batch I got. So for those of you who got a good batch, I'm glad you were able to experience Beach Nights. For those of you who were disappointed, I'm sorry. Maybe they'll bring it back again, hopefully. But I want Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds before I want Beach Nights back. That's just me, though. All right, y'all. So those were all 22 plus two honorable mentions of my favorite fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works for the year of 2022. Y'all, I have so much stuff that I am kind of hoping, this is so wrong of me, so selfish, but I'm going to tell it like it is, like I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of hoping that the Body Works has a bunch of repackages for 2023 because I felt like half of the collections they came out with were new and then half of all the collections they came out with were repackaged. So you had a good mixture. So if they want to do that again, I'm fine. I'm fine, but y'all, my rooms, my storage, my wallet, we all need a break. 
but I'm still going to be looking and shopping. But I wouldn't be mad if they wanted to, you know, sneak some repackages in there. I ain't mad at you. I Just don't be sneaky about it, Bath and Body Works. Just keep the same name. Keep the same name. Don't be coming in here with no vanilla uh, mocha cafe, vanilla mocha cream. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And then vanilla mocha martini. Just keep it the same name, will you? Just be honest. Okay, because you see we buy backups. So even if you don't change the name, we still gonna, gonna get it, a lot of people. Quit trying to trick folks. <laughs> so if y'all enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please leave me a comment down below telling me your top, mm, top five five fragrance mist of 2022 i would love to know i'm excited to see what you know what y'all's favorites were maybe it's some on here i missed that just didn't you know weren't didn't make it to my top 22 list i can't wait to see please share this video with everyone who is excited for the new year okay and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.